Okay. Hi, my name's uh, Taylor Wilkin. I'm from uh, Works24. We're a uh, company in Edmond, located in Edmond. We do uh, digital signage, uh, on-hold messaging, like when you call the bank and you get put on hold and you hear the advertising messages, we do those. Uh, we do internet streaming overhead music. Um, and we're actually, our units are probably in 2,500 locations all over the US and Canada. Um, right now, we're kind of going through a big rewrite where uh, we started in 2002, everything was written from scratch from then, and you can kind of see by the list here, we kind of went through the phases of development, like our original s system was written in VB6COM and was actually, uh, our internal tools were all part of Outlook, like an Outlook cu custom application. And we've kind of gone through all these phases and we're redoing it now. This is kind of our first ground up re rewrite since the company started, and we're doing everything in .NET Core. And um, one of the biggest, issues we had moving to this was that we, because of our digital signs, we draw images all day, every day, thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands of images all day long. Um, and trying to figure out how to move to .NET Core without having to have a bunch of IIS servers just to draw images the way we had been doing it. We've been doing it using a system drawing for years. Um, here's a couple of examples. This is one of our weather slides. Um, French news for Quebec. In Quebec, you actually have to show half in, half the content has to be in French, half the content has to be in English. Um, so we actually uh, do both. Um, our t scrolling tickers, those are all drawn, um, s system drawing. So when .NET Core 1.1, which is when we started, came out, there was almost nothing. Um, system drawing is so tied into Windows that you, it does not work in anything else. It's basically GDI plus, which was the XP drawing engine. Um, and I think Microsoft has pretty much decided they're not gonna try to, try to do a cross-platform version of that, and I'll get to that in a second. Um, there's some very limited functionality in .NET Core 2. You pretty much just have like the rectangles and a few of the primitive models, but that's about it. Um, there's some good C-sharp alternatives. Uh, this first one, um, they're actually working on writing the whole thing in C-sharp. It's got a ways to go, but it it's actually lo looks pretty good. Uh, image resizer is very good if you just need to resize images. Um, there's a whole bunch of projects in NuGet uh, that if you search, you can find them. If, if you just need to resize images, uh, any of these work great. Like if you're re resizing images on the fly, like image resizer has a caching thing and a fluent API and it's, it's great. Um, uh, native alternatives. This is what I'm used to because I'm so old school, the image magic uh, on Linux, uh, which is great. Uh, they actually have a wrapper for, on Windows. They're still working on the li Linux and Mac. Um, and then the free image, which is, I played around with that a little bit. It's a little rough. Uh, Skia Sharp is um, actually the, the 2D drawing engine for Chrome, Android, and Firefox. Uh, it's backed by Google. It's got a great license. Um, uh, and Microsoft has taken over the, the Skia Sharp wrapper. So I'm guessing, I, they haven't announced this formally, but I'm guessing that that is what is gonna be the graphics engine for Core going forward. Um, all the NuGet is m maintained by them and Mono actually owns all the repos for the actual wrapper. Um, and it is very close uh, to system drawing. And now, I will show some of this. Has anybody here actually worked with system drawing very much? A little bit. So this is, let's see this, yeah, we're in Windows, okay. So this is a ski, this right here will draw 10 random images. And basically we're taking and creating a new bitmap, and I'll, actually let me do this side by side with the, uh, oh yeah. Remember how to, there we go. Just a second, I will, there we go. Um, and I kind of will go through this a little bit. Basically it, it takes, picks a random background, a random image, a random font. In, one of the big things for us is being able to load the fonts on disk, off of disk, TTF files off disk so that we can run it in a Docker image on a server. Um, and so this, basically this test does both in system drawing and in uh, core. 
So I will go ahead and run the core one. And it will draw, I'll show, I can actually show you these images as they come up. And one thing that's very interesting I found doing this project, I'll talk about here in just a second, is that uh, Skia is pretty slow. <laughs> so we've got all these images. And they're kind of random. They look good. They actually does a very good job. There's like a random animal, a random quote. These are actually the off Google fonts, the little test text they use for Google fonts. Uh, the little rectangle around the outside. So that'll draw those. So this completed this in 8.42 seconds. So then I will switch. And now I need to get back in projects, of course. Solution. Hang on. I have to. I've lost my, uh, oh, there it is. Lost my Solution Explorer. Well, anyway, I'll just continue on. The, uh, uh, the .NET one will draw those same Im images in under a second. So there's, I think they've still got a ways to go in that. It's quite a bit quicker on Mac. Here, I could show that here. This is the same project. And it will go in about half the time that it runs on uh, documents. Let me go to source. Here are, and you can see the same images. One thing um, that I was going to point out is that the. Uh, these, act, these Google images actually look, look better than the uh, system drawing ones. They're actually a little alias a little better. If designers here will kind of notice that they're just a little bit cleaner and sharper. Uh, but of course, that probably comes at the cost of um, speed. Um, one thing, one test I would probably do with this before we actually implement any new code with it is to, is to wrap all this in a task and go run about 100 of them and make sure it's you know, threaded and everything's gonna, gonna go great. Because we're actually moving from rendering all the, all the images right now are all imaged and composited on the, on the players and we're wanting to go to little USB stick computers. So we're moving all that to the server side. But let me go back to my... That's about all I have. Have any questions or anything? All the code for this is on my GitHub, um, and you can actually go to look at the GitHub for Skia Sharp, and then Skia.org is the main Google library, and they are working on this thing like crazy. So it's a very well maintained. And like I said, it's it's the it's the 2D engine in Chrome and Android. So um, yes. Mm hmm. Yeah, aliasing. I think the aliasing in Skia is a little bit better. Um, the the and I, again, you could probably dig into the system drawing settings a little bit. There's a lot of stuff you can do in there. There's also some stuff that Skia doesn't do yet, like some really basic stuff or Skia Sharp anyway, like draw text in a box and flow it. Like I had to find a helper class and write do a helper class to actually do the line breaks manually and measure all the text and do all that stuff. Whereas system drawing just does all that out of the box. Um, Yeah, and I could show you, um, if you want to see, I could show you those two images side by side. You can kind of tell. Yeah, they're just, OK, anything? Yes? Uh, so you're talking about her not being you know, good. Is that the native Skia library, or is it a wrap? I don't know. I would actually want to profile that and see exactly what's It's probably all the interop stuff going on. There's probably a lot more interop stuff going on with those libraries. And I, again, it runs at about half that time on Linux. I've not tried it on Debian yet, which is actually what we're doing our new platform is Docker and Debian, so I would want to try it on there as well. Anybody else? Okay. Thank you very much.